good afternoon now we will see in this all clauses related with column already we have gone through these clauses so page number 48 longitudinal reinforcement so given that is the area of longitudinal reinforcement minimum is given 0.8% and maximum is given 6% but we are not going to provide to avoid conjunction for more than 4%. But while answering minimum, we have to say 0.8, maximum, we have to say 6%. Now, in any column that has a larger cross-sectional area than required, then minimum percentage should be based on the required. Means suppose we require gross area that is 38,500 mm square. And if we have provided, this is AG required. And if we will provide it AG, that is 200 by 200. And that is 40,000. 40,000. Then area, suppose we have 2%. Then we have to find area, 2% that is on area required, not on provided means 2 by 100 into 38,500, 38, not 40,000. That is mentioned over here. Then we have the minimum number of longitudinal bars in column. We have 4 and in uh, that is rectangular column in 4 and that is in circular column we have 6. Then the bar in column should not be less than 12 mm means minimum diameter of bar minimum diameter of bar that is 12 millimeters. Then we have a reinforced column having helical reinforcement. Shall have at least six bars of longitudinal reinforcement. Generally, helical reinforcement we have for a circular column and minimum bars we require six. Then in a helical reinforced column, the longitudinal bar shall be in contact with the Helical reinforcement and equidistant. So this is most important. It, the, these bars should be equidistant. Means we have distance between the uh, main reinforcement, that is longitudinal reinforcement should be equal. Then spacing of longitudinal bars measured along the periphery of the column. So that means the distance we have in this fashion. Suppose we have this will be column and then we are going to say this distance this should not be shall not exceed 300 this distance or you can say this distance so distance between two longitudinal bars of column should not exceed 300 mm then we have transverse reinforcement actually here they have mentioned so main purpose we have that is one is to keep the bars in straight so dispose that every longitudinal bar nearest to the compression phase has effective lateral support against buckling. That is one reason. The effective lateral support is given by transverse reinforcement either in the form of circular rings capable of taking up circumferential tension. So they have mentioned over here circumferential tension or polygonal links that we have moment. And that angle should not exceed 135. And the ends of the transfer reinforcement shall properly anchored. So that given in, you can go to figure 26.2.24b, there we have this one. Then the diameter of bar for polygon link or lateral ties, and that is given. So fourth, one fourth of diameter of the largest bar. So five largest divided by four or six mm whichever is greater. This is not 16. I already mentioned in the class also. This is 6. Then pitch for this, that is distance between the lateral ties. We have first, the pitch of transverse reinforcement shall not be more than at least of the following. First is given least lateral dimension. That is generally B, we have least lateral dimension. 16 times the smallest diameter. Suppose we have provided 25 mm, two bars. And we have four bars of 20. Then we are going to consider that is smallest, means 16 into 20. And then we have third, 
that is 300 mm and we have to provide list of these three so list means minimum of three list of three we have to provide as pitch then we have for helical reinforcement we have same concept that is uh, mentioned in the last that is five bar and that is largest longitudinal bar so we have five largest divided by four same or six mm so diameter for lateral ties and helical we have same then so this we have already seen this is six mm and then pitch they have mentioned so helical reinforcement shall be regular formation with the turns of the helix space spaced evenly shall be anchored properly by providing one and a half extra turns of the spiral bars where an increased load they have mentioned is allowed the pitch of helical turns shall not be more than 75 so there we have three criteria here we have maximum 75 nor more than one sixth of the core diameter of the column so one sixth diameter of column and that is one sixth and nor less than 25 so five of column by six or 75 mm whichever is less that will be considered as maximum whichever is less is maximum pitch so maximum pitch and minimum distance they have given 25 mm nor less than three times the diameter means minimum we have three into five of helical or 25 whichever is greater so nor less than means we have to consider not less than 25 of the steel helix nor less than 25 mm nor less than three times means we should not be less than 25 and not less than three times diameter so we have to check it and minimum we have to go for 25 below that we cannot go so we have these are the clauses which are related with our columns now we will stop here only thank you